This amazing column chart will not only show you your previous year's sales and current YDD in a single chart, but it will also visualize the forecast for future months dynamically, which is completely dependent on your month slicer. This visual can be very useful in your Power BI solutions, and we are going to create it from the scratch. All right, I have this new PBX file where I have created this simple column chart. Let's have a look inside our data set. I have this sales transactions table and then few dimensions like product and customer. Along with that, I also have this forecast file where I have a manual upload for monthly forecast of the current year. My data model is also pretty simple. First of all, let's understand the problem. Usually we create such column charts to show monthly sales and if I want, I can also drag the forecast measure to compare month on month sales and forecast values. But this is not what I am looking for. I want to create a single chart, which will show previous year sales, current year to date value, and then the forecast for all the future months only. So without further ado, let me start implementing the solution. I have the sales amount measure, and I need to create a cumulative total sales measure, which I need in my next workaround. This measure name I can keep as cumulative sales. As usual, I can simply write calculate total sales. The first argument of my filter argument is all month name. Since I have month name sorted with month column, so I will also include that. This will ignore the applied filters on the month column, and then I can consider all the months which are less or equal to the current selected month. Till here, it is very basic. And now I will prepare my second tool. Before that, Let's replace our total sales measure with our new cumulative sales measure and verify that it is at least showing the cumulative total sales for each month. I have data only till September month, and it is repeating the same value for the next three months. Since I don't need this monthly chart, let me apply my second workaround. From the Enter Data option, I will create a simple custom table. The name of the table I can keep as axis, and column name I can keep as dynamic axis. Here I can just manually enter previous year, current YDD, and then all the month names. In the second column, I can mention the ordinal, which I need to apply a sort by for the first column. After this, I need to create two important measures, which will make these entire things working dynamically as per our requirements. Before I create my measures, let me apply a sort order for this dynamic axis based on the ordinal, and then I will connect the ordinal column of this table to the month column of my forecast table. I don't need to connect this with my sales table. Now select the column chart visual and replace the X axis month name from the date table and use the dynamic axis column from the newly created table. At this moment, I can see all the values are showing same. And now I am ready to create my master measures. My first measure name is dynamic sales amount. I will start with a switch function with first argument as true because I want to validate few conditions. The validation is, if the ordinal value is minus 1, which is the order number for previous year value in the axis table. For this, we can calculate the total sales amount for the previous year. The next validation is, if ordinal value in the x axis is 0, or it is greater than the selected value of month number in the month slicer, then it will calculate the cumulative sales. If you are confused as why I am calculating cumulative sales for the future months, then let me add this measure in my visual to explain the same. Remove the existing cumulative sales measure, and then I can use my new dynamic sales amount. As that you can see, I am seeing only previous year and current year YDD, but once I will select a month, it is showing the future months as well. These future months will be used to show the forecast, but I need to create a measure for forecast value to add it on the top of this cumulative values. Let's create the measure. This measure name I can keep as dynamic future forecast. Here, my simple validation is, if the ordinal value of the axis table is greater than the selected month number from the slicer, then calculate the sum of amount from forecast table, and also remove filters from the date table. Remove filter is required, because my date table is already connected with forecast table, and it will show only that month value which is selected in the month slicer. But I need to show for all future month. Alright, select the visual, and make sure that you have this stack column chart. If not, you can switch the column chart to stack column chart and then add this forecast measure as the second value. We can change the column colors 
and we are almost ready with our solution except just one more addition on top of it, which is nothing but the line value to show as cumulative forecast. This measure is pretty simple. We can just validate the same condition as the forecast measure and then calculate the total value of cumulative sales amount plus the forecast value. We can add this measure as the line value. Since it may show on secondary axis, you can once enable and then disable the secondary axis. You can format the line chart with its type width in markers. If you also want to show the custom data label, for example, this forecast can be shown as text forecast by using a separate measure, which has this text value. For that, I can just drop this measure in the custom data label area for the dynamic forecast measure. This solution can be very useful in your Power BI projects. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.